Instructor Sergeant Tell was crouched low in the bushes after dark, patiently waiting. This was no war game. This was duty. It would not be enough to simply accuse those involved and kick them out of boot camp. He would have to catch them in the act. Then the brass would have no choice not only to drop the individuals involved, but also stop the stupid political policies until the next bright idea anyway. There was a rumour that recruits were sneaking out of their barracks at night. At first, Tell thought that they were trying to leave the camp, but that made no sense. There wasn't a civilian structure for many kilometres in any direction. No, there was only one reason for a young male recruit to give up a portion of their precious few sleeping hours. They were visiting the female humans' quarters. Interspecies relations. Disgusting. And enough to get a recruit thrown out for good by the brass, if Tell could prove it. Temper flaring, he hoped that no Ravix recruit was involved. In fact, if the recruit still had enough energy for this, then perhaps he wasn't working them hard enough, he thought, with malicious intent. The past few weeks had been fast-paced for all involved, instructors included. Training had expanded to include theoretical education of equipment and basic tactics. Bayonet practice had started, both with foam and live blades, and was going well. The PT marching distance was getting longer. Hand to tell and practice was the most revealing, though. The pink human proving that her masterful display wasn't one of beginner's luck, beating whoever she was paired with with relative ease. Eventually, Tell had the recruit go up against two others at once, and was satisfied that all involved were getting good first-hand experiences. The human had still won, but only just. The other recruits didn't look down on her diminutive height any more after that particular demonstration. The emptying beds had slowed to a trickle, as predicted, and there had now been a few nights in a row where the number didn't change at all. Speaking of empty beds... Five dark shapes moved silently between the buildings, stopping regularly and checking corners. They were even moving shadow to shadow in a fire movement pattern. They were good, Tell reluctantly admitted to himself. It was almost a shame they had to get the boot in order for the human to go. Unfortunately, the abomination of political interference within the Empire's military had to be destroyed at all costs. They were definitely headed to the human private officer's quarters, indirectly enough that they could deny their actual destination until the last moment, if caught. Clever. Following at a discreet distance, Tell was relieved to confirm that all five shapes belonged to Zillion recruits. He should have guessed. The species wasn't among the brightest out there. He was more relieved that no Ravix were about to be involved in this whole foul incident. That, or the human had particular preferences. He waited out of sight as the Zillion entered the building, one at a time. Counting down under his breath, Tell would give them a few minutes to make sure they were caught mid-act. When the time came, he marched purposely out of the shadows, up to the building, and threw open the door with so much force it slammed against the wall, startling everyone inside into stunned inaction. They were sitting on a floor in a circle, surrounded by papers? It was a study group. The pink human was tutoring the dull zillion recruits. Embarrassed and flustered, Tell managed to squeeze out something hasty about punishment details for being in other gendered dorms. Dismissing the male recruits, he hastily beat his own retreat. No saving his military from stupid politics today. Worse. If the human made a complaint about the instructor sergeant barging into a female dorm after hours without announcing himself first, he could be in for all kinds of trouble.